I have two graphics cards that I was trying out. And one of them is an HD5450 by AMD. Um, and the second card is a NVIDIA GC710. And so I actually had this card before a long time ago and I completely forgot why I stopped using it in a data center. And I kind of remembered why the hard way. Um, so I'll give you the kind of comparison on the two, um, the goods and bads of both of them. They both have their goods and bads. Um, so currently, right now, the one in the system is the AMD. And the AMD is kind of the only one that's stable enough to run for my setup. So this is a home automation software uh, called um, Home Assistant. Um, the operating system is called HASS.io. And the kernel, Linux kernel, is 5.10, which is the latest long-term kernel that you could get for for Linux. So as far as drivers go, they should both be fairly com comparable in a way. Um, you know, you could go up to 5.15 on the latest kernel, but that's not for long-term use. So a lot of operating systems like this will not be using 5.15. Um, and so the problem I was having with this one is that it would shut off about every 24 or so hours. Um, the system would just hang, it would lock up, it would pretty much with no logs. And I was having a really hard time trying to find out why. Um, I actually had it plugged into a little display, um, a little seven inch display. Um, and I found out that uh, I had watchdog gear at, on the screen usually tend to be from kind of kernel panics and stuff like that. Um, unfortunately, the motherboard, you know, doing what it's supposed to do with a watchdog error is supposed to reboot the system. It did not do that. So um, sometimes it's for good reason so that it doesn't continuously loop. And so I'm left with the option of trying out many things. I didn't know at first that it was the card. I tried different memory a memory stick, a different board, a different CPU. Um, I tested the NVMe drive that's in there. Um, and I also tested a different power supply. I was actually planning to use this power supply right here, which is a 12 volt only power supply, which my rack is a 12 volt rack. Um, so everything on my rack is powered by a 12 volt bus with a platinum power supply that powers only 12 volts. Um, which is why I was kind of going through. Right now, it's not even in the case it's supposed to be in. It's in a temporary case that I was testing with uh, before moving it into the rack. I'm gonna switch over. And um, so that's kind of the reason. Um, so now we have, when do you use this card over this card? Um, if you're using Windows, go ahead. By all means, use it because you can actually get a driver for this on Windows. Yeah, I'm sure you could get a driver for that, but a lot of people on the forums are saying that the driver is useless. It doesn't help, um, which I completely believe it because I saw many, many posts with the same thing. Um, why I would want this one instead of that one? The reason I would want the NVIDIA versus the AMD in this case is because the AMD is a little bit older. So my power usage right now is, let's see, 56 watts. I'm using 56 watts idle. Not a lot. I'm $6 in electricity a month. This card was using 25 watts. So that one's using about 25 more, eh, 30 watts, 30 watts more just on that GPU. Because nothing else has changed in the system except for that GPU right here. So more power usage out of the AMD than the NVIDIA. Unfortunately, you cannot use this GT710 on this setup. Um, I've tried numerous things. It won't work. Um, my setup is supposed to be low power. I would love to use that one, but until the day that it works, I'm just going to have to leave it sitting aside. 